going on my people i am making this video you know eventually these topics were probably going to come around on this channel eventually i was going to make videos on these things but uh i was under one of my other channels and uh sometimes i use that channel to scour and look for bullshit all over the internet and i came across a video um it was related to um it was related to the man it was this guy accused of killing a queen's nurse right he killed a black a black guy killed a black queen's nurse now you know mind you these racist whites they really don't like us but all of a sudden they love the black girl all of a sudden that, that was killed by the black dude when when their ancestors were killing our women all the time all of a sudden now in 2022 they just care so much about uh, black women getting killed by other black men. Sure, whatever. Um, this guy, I don't know what the how they even pronounce this shit. His name is Lith Labas. A Lith. This video is just for you. Lith said, "I'm going to read to you guys," um, because he went on a racist, a racist, you know, a semi rant, talking about black people like they always do. We always in their mouths. They always want to know what we're doing. They always, they care about us, man. They care about us. They love us. They love us. That's why our, that's why our, our women that were, um, indentured servitudes were able to give our beautiful melanated black breast as a suckle for their white babies. Makes you wonder, right? How come they couldn't feed? They couldn't breastfeed their own babies? Why not? Interesting, right? I always wondered, how, how, why do you need our black women to breastfeed your baby? Don't you have breasts? Or is there something wrong with your milk? What was it? Was your milk genetically inferior? What, what was the, what was the reason for that? But anyway, I'm gonna read to you what this Lith guy. Hey Lith, I'm reading your, your ten points. You tried to. Approve, you know, he said black people pretty much have everything, all kind of privileges. And these were the 10 things he said were privileges. But let's, and I'm going to counter every one of those 10 things he said because it was utter fucking nonsense. But let's, let's run through it. He said, number one, affirmative action. Well, let's tackle affirmative action real quick, bro. Why do we have, why, why is affirmative action even a thing you need to ask dig up your ancestors from the 60s and the 50s and the 40s and the 30s and beyond dig them up ask them why affirmative action is even a thing because it's their fault that we even have affirmative action right it's their fault and it's the white government's fault for passing all of that, right? It's their fault for passing it. And it's your ancestors that were doing all kind of foul shit to black people in the past that, you know, caused us to have affirmative action, which is just a, a pacifier almost, you know. Happy? Uh, didn't think that, did you? So... The reason why we have affirmative action pretty much is because your ancestors were the root cause of us of it to even be a thing. Number two, he said, preferential treatment with job hiring and virtually impossible to fire poor performers. Really? Last time I checked, man, don't really matter what color you are. You fuck up at work, you getting fired, especially black people. We always the ones that's got the. We got that spotlight on us at work all the time. We do the wrong thing. We out the door just like anybody else. Don't know what the fuck you talking about. Number three, lowered admission scores for university acceptance. See the answer to number one. Just, just like affirmative action. If lowered admission scores for university acceptance is a thing, why is it a thing? It's just like why is there just all black colleges? Why? Why do these things exist? Was it because all the hell that your white ancestors put my people through? 
and the government felt sorry, so-called sorry, and this is the same government that allowed all this shit to happen without the without there being any laws on the books. They let this shit happen for a long time. Then they just come around and now they're just so sorry that all this was happening to us. They just decided to give us affirmative action and they decided to uh, lower uh, admission scores for black people to get into universities. Another band-aid. So the answer to that one would be see the answer to number one. Yeah. Number five, lower interest loans if a black owned business for if it's a black owned business, not minority business, lower interest loans for black owned businesses. Damn, is that shit, man? That must be awesome. Cause I mean, I took out a business loan. You know, it was like pulling teeth, man. I had to shop around. And I'm pretty sure somebody that was more fair complexion than me would have definitely, right off the spot, the first bank, they would have probably got a way lower loan than me, lower interest rate. Then me. He says lowest interest loans for black owned businesses. Do you also realize there's a lot of times that we can't get loans because we're black? No, that's not a thing, right? That don't exist, does it? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> then he said loot, riot, and burn with little or no consequences. Hmm, interesting. So black people loot, riot, and burn with little to no consequences. Now let me say this. All those looting and burning you saw in all of these fake protests, that was caused by BLM. None of that was grassroots. That wasn't, and, and a lot of that, and BLM is run by white folks, might I add. It was created by white people too. Um, also, uh, those people that was in those riots, everybody already know a lot of those was white agitators starting a lot of that shit because there's videos of it. There's pictures of it. And then the black people you do see that were rioting, some of them were genuine. Some of them were paid to do that shit. Okay. And since you want to talk about looting and rioting, when's the last time a, a, a group of white people that were looting and burning over fucking sports games, when is the last time they was arrested for, for that shit? And the biggest loot and the biggest riot of all time in the U.S. Yeah, January 6th. You, you, you claim... Little or no consequences for black people. How many of these January 6th dudes are doing 25 to life right now? How many of them got life in prison for desecrating the U.S. Capitol? Hmm? How many of them desecrating the Capitol is 10 times worse than desecrating the store, wouldn't you think? So why are they getting slaps on the wrist? And nearly none of those people were black. They were white, you know. QAnon and not uh, QAnon shaman. He gets special treatment because he don't like to eat meat and all this other dumb shit. And a lot of these dudes only getting a few months in jail. Some of them getting like three years. People, people died. Cops were killed. People got shot. And this is all these dudes are getting the slaps on the wrist. So miss me with that bullshit. Totally miss me with that. Another deflective tactic that the, the, this this idiot is using, just like all the other white supremacists. Next, violent felons released from prison early, bail lowered, ankle monitoring to balance the incarceration percentage. Jeez, here we go again. There's all races released from prison because of that dumb shit. Not just black people. There's white felons being released. There's Asian felons being released. Oh, but it's mostly black. I don't care. I don't want to hear that. There's Asian people being released. There's white people being released. There's black people being released. They're all felons. And they're all the same, bro. Just different shades. So what are you talking about? Then he said political appointees and candidates in position based on color, gender, not qualified, not qualification. Examples, Vice President Kamala Harris, Lori Lightfoot, and police chiefs, mayors, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, man, this is so easy to destroy. This dude is an absolute idiot. Number eight. Bro, what are you talking about? First, let me say this. When, I, when he types this, I'm getting the vibes that he's upset 
that black people are police chiefs. He's upset black people are mayors, such as uh, Eric Adams in New York. He doesn't want black people to really have those positions. None of them do. And according to him, though, we have the privilege, the privilege of being, of having our people put into these positions, pretty much what he's saying, utter bullshit. And then a lot of the, and the people that he's mentioning are fucking puppets. Those are token Negroes, especially Lori Lightfoot. Barack Obama was one of them. Vice President Kamala Harris is not fucking black. I don't know why people keep saying that. She's fucking Indian. She claims Indian. She's a she's one of the one of these Rachel Dolezal. She's only black when it's convenient for her to be black. She's not black. She hate black people. She incarcerated black people. She don't represent black people. She even says she ain't doing nothing just for black people. So where's the privilege at? Where's the privilege? All these if 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 black people are getting all these handouts and privileges. How can we ain't get none of that bread that's getting passed around in Ukraine? All this bread being passed around to all these immigrants and all these other places. All these Mexicans and all these El Salvadorians coming over here getting all this bread. How come black people don't get none of that bread? Psh, miss me. Miss me with it, bro. You're too easy to unpack. Your shit is too easy to destroy. You, you, you have nothing. Your arguments is baseless. And then the last one, like they all these white supremacists. I know you're going to get into that. <sighs> Given a free pass by the media and nearly every politician on crime. Bro, black men just shot up, shot shit up in Sacramento, California, and they're plastered all over the fucking news, bro. What are you talking about, man? That's called giving a pass, bro. I don't know what planet you come from. Right when a when when a white guy shoot up a church or something, he plastered all over the news. When these black fools, dumbasses, shot up that shit, they got put on the news and they still on the news. So what are you talking about? And then he goes on to say, eighty five percent of the public violent crime committed by five percent of the population. All these motherfuckers do is use they keep regurgitating the same talking points over and over and over. They just repeating what the other idiot is saying. That's really all they doing. Crime is not committed mostly by black people. It's committed by white people, actually. But this is what I keep saying about us. Black people, no matter. I'm, I'm going to get to that in a minute. Let me, let me finish reading this stupid shit. Then he says, armed robbery, shootings, carjackings, kids, and other innocent people in more danger. So he leading to my last point. This is a world, I, I forget how many people is in this on this planet, bro. Billion, I know it's what, maybe six billion, eight billion people. A little less than that. There are multiple racial groups of people on this planet. There's different nationalities. You got Jewish, whites, you got American whites, you got Italian whites, you got Africans, you got Native Americans, you got Indian people, you got Chinese people, you got um, Black Americans, which that's what I am. I'm not an African American because I've never lived in Africa. My roots don't trace all the way back to, uh, don't trace directly to Africa. I never lived in Africa. I don't talk African. I don't look like them. I don't share their culture. So I'm from right here in this motherfucker. No matter how raggedy it is, I'm from this bitch right here. All right. But why is it that my people, black people in America, are always the spotlight of like we're always the 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 poster child for crime all over the place, not just the US. But see, they like to just stick to the US crime thing. They love doing that. Uh, you know, 80% of the crime in America is committed by black people. What about 80% of the crime in the world? Is that committed by black people too? I'll wait. Even though 80% of the crime is not committed by black people in America either. But they like to pinpoint us to America like as if like we're the only people on the planet that's just, just this savage. You know, I always found that really fucking strange. That when black people were being lynched, right? Here's the here's what I always found very strange, very hypocritical too. 
when black people were being lynched and hung from trees and they were standing there with our bodies taking pictures, that wasn't savage. Black people back then were sticking together more than we were now. I admit that. There was not a lot of the issues we had now, then. We didn't have really any of those issues. We had Black Wall Street, Tulsa, Rosewood. We had many black cities thriving, all kind of stuff. Why were y'all hanging us? Why, why were you were we savages back then too? Who who were the real savages today and back then? Back then, black people weren't harming each other. We were we were peaceful people. We still are, but we were definitely on our shit. We was on our grind. Y'all couldn't take that. Y'all was burning our shit down. Y'all ain't like that. You know, you call us this and this and that and the third, but then when we get shit, you don't want us to have shit and you burn it up and fuck it up. Right? So you know why y'all burning and fuck it up? So y'all can always keep us down and have us saying, look at those fucking, look at those Negro savages. They ain't nothing but crime. Commit crime, crime, crime. That's the way you keep us under the spotlight to, to project, to keep all of the bad, evil shit away from, you know, don't point the finger at the bad white folks. Let's just keep the finger on the blacks. That's what that is. And we know, we, we've been through this. We're not stupid. All right, so he calling us, he's saying we do all these crimes, but look at the news. White people is over there bombing the shit out of each other right now. That is so, that's ironic, right? Ukraine and Russia is at war. Damn. Wow, look at all that white on white crime, man. How dropping bombs on each other like it ain't no tomorrow. Go down across the border into Mexico. Got the cartels down there going ape crap, ape shit. Bodies hanging off bridges, beheading people. All type of shit going on. But yeah, for some reason, though, we the most savage motherfuckers on the planet Earth, black people. Shit, right? Only way black people going to ever be the most savage race on this earth is if we are the only race left on this earth. That's the only way. When otherwise... We have a hell of a lot of competition and we're learning from the best, right? Miss me with that shit. So all your little points, Mr. Lith Labas, have been destroyed. Thank you and good night.